Hey, hello everybody. Uh, Today is going to be a special video. Uh, I spent the last uh, couple days uh, upgrading or updating, should I say, the various uh, 3D printed RC construction models I got from uh, a guy called uh, Bernie 222 RC on uh, on Kurtz. And I started with this one. So that's the, that's the first model I 3D printed. It was exactly a year ago. Uh, it was released on Kurtz, and it was uh, it was not that that not that expensive though. And it was my first time printing a model. I had no experience with 3D printing anything like that. I just bought a 3D printer. It was an Ender 3 S1 at the back in the day, and I 3D printed this one. It's in PETG. I choose PETG because over there, I mean over here where I live, it's kind of hot. So PLA is a, is a no-go and uh, you know actually I, I build one of these uh, in PLA and uh, the thing uh, crumbled because of the heat so uh, I made a good decision going PETG. So this one was, uh, was my first experience with 3D printed. Uh, it was tough. I mean what was tough was uh, the 3D printing experience. <laughs> you know there was no bamboo lab, super easy and quick uh, printer back in the day. But I enjoy the, the, the build very much. You have to know that um, when you buy this model, you have a, first of all, you have the videos. The videos are on YouTube, they are free. So you can watch the video over and over again. That's what I did, just to uh, see if you are, you're gonna be able to do it. And when you buy the files, uh, you got, of course, all the STL files, the, the 3D files, but you got the manual, very uh, good manual with, uh, with a screen cap, I mean, with, um, with pictures. Uh, you get the part list, so everything's written. You just have to click on links and everything. And uh, uh, sometimes some some stuff got out of date or they're like uh, deleted. But it's very easy to find it. It's mostly con coming from uh, AliExpress or eBay. But there's uh, some stuff you can find on Amazon. It's uh, usually it's uh, a little bit expensive. So this one was good. It was working really good. I choose to go for the tropical version. Like when I was living in Africa, like most of the time there was no windows, everything was open, like this kind of stuff. Um, and uh, there is a, there is a, you can vibrate. There is a vibration motor in the, in this thing, in the, I don't know what's the name of this in, in English. Recently, uh, Lasse, the creator of the, of the of this build, he released the uh, update with a motor in order to uh, be able to have like uh, the two motors from the wheels and then you get a motor on the on the thing. And since then it has completely changed because before that it was kind of tough to drive when it was too uh, sandy or it was difficult to uh, climb uphill etc. But since then I mean, it's like a, it's a real uh, four by four, almost four, four by four uh, wheel drive. It, it can go everywhere. The vibration motor is very useful. Of course, you, you can only use this machine in certain conditions because, you know, with uh, the fact that we are on a scale model and the dirt is not scaled, of course, sometimes it's, I mean, it's kind of difficult to find a real purpose for this, but if you use sand or when uh, it's kind of, uh, wet, not muddy, huh? but just just wet uh, with the dirt. It's very nice to use. So this was my first model that I built, that I printed and built, and it was quite an experience. It was some kind of an experience to build this one. It's a lot more complicated than the the roller over there. It has great features though. It's a four x four can go uh, everywhere it's pretty nice I mean the look is good it's looking really good and um, like for the roller the, the builder of this one it just released a update very nice update and uh, I just did it just made uh, the update it was quite uh, an adventure <laughs> before the arm was lifted by a uh, actuator okay like this one I mean, I never had any issue myself with it, but it was kind of slow and it was not that strong. So he released an update, 
and it's now a motor so there's a motor inside and uh, now it's like super efficient it goes faster even though I uh, you know I'm only using 80% of the total speed over here to be uh, realistic it's very strong it's also cheaper <laughs> which is good you can go very slow get some speed so very nice upgrade for free and I took the occasion to uh, I had some issue with the the steering actuator over here so I had to change it I decided to go uh, the same kind I mean not the same brand but the same specs uh, which I think is um, 64 Newton uh, torque which is good could be a little bit more but like I said never had any issue previously of course you have to uh, it's better if you are uh, if you drive while you're while you're turning but like I said never any issue myself with it very nice compact wheel loader uh, you can use it in many situations there is a, a quick coupler over here so you can use the different attachments you get fork you get a, a rock uh, bucket this is like the, more like a sand bucket uh, you can use let, let me show you it's very very nice very easy to maneuver you just have to uh, there is a, uh, a servo over there so if you want to just leave the change your bucket see very easy uh, you need to get used to it but you get the idea and now it's locked beautiful one I just I'm missing some plastic some uh, transparent plastic to uh, to cut the, the main window but this one has window it has, it has lights I'm thinking about uh, adding a, a sound module as well I think uh, this model really deserve it very nice and all scale and I mean the scale is really good if you compare to uh, like winner or other stuff this is like 114, 113 and a half, something like that. This one is stunning. Trust me. <laughs> this thing has moved so much dirt. Uh, it's unbelievable. When you think it's 3D printed, PETG as well as the other ones, uh, even the tracks, the trackpad or PETG, this is one of the only pieces I, I printed uh, like very very strength with very much strength it's like uh, five uh, five layer five walls layers and uh, maybe 60 percent infill but this thing is a beast man unbelievable trust me this one is unbelievable it it can move dirt easily i've been working with this one for like hours and hours no issues whatsoever like this is the original actuators Never had an issue with it. Um, this is, um, I just changed what I did recently. I changed the models because I was using, first of all, when I built it originally, I was using 80 RPM motors, but it was kind of too fast for my taste. And I had to reduce the, um, the, the speed with the radio control, but then it, has, it didn't have as much torque as I wanted. So I moved from 80 to um, some motors, it, it was uh, 65, but one of the motors I bought was kind of weak, so um, I had issues. But since I removed them and I used now the recommended motors from, from the set list, from the part list from Lasso, uh, it's a 55 RPM motors, the strongest one, very nice upgrade, I'm very happy. I should have done it from the very beginning as it was written in the manual. I know that, so I know. I should listen to you, man. Yeah, I know. So that was really a very interesting build. Kind of easy. Uh, I would say one of the easiest ones. When I built it the first time, I was using like the, the wide track pads and the wide um, blade. And it was good. It was really good looking and everything, but in terms of moving dirt i mean i'm not using any sand or is it very soft material so i don't i didn't need the the wide track pads 
and the fact to have a wide very wide uh, 26 centimeter uh, blade was like you move a lot of dirt so it's a lot of trunks on the on the on the on the motors and everything so since i changed and i went back to uh, to the regular track pad and i went back to the regular blade this one is very useful on uh, and very efficient on the job site uh, with a regular blade it's a lot better now uh, you can you can tilt the blade you know up and down you can tilt in the files you can have a reaper as well I didn't use it myself because I have no interest with reaper I mean it's I mean I have no use for a reaper in my in my job site so I didn't uh, install it but man, yeah, very nice, very good model, highly recommended. And now the the king at the job site. My favorite uh, last build. This thing is unbelievable. And what I say, unbelievable. I even up to this day, I've been using this model for between 80 to 100 hours since I build it I'm using it every day on every action on my job site this is an incredible track uh, we should say articulated dump truck it's a replica of a Komatsu HM300 very well done beautiful model with uh, quite interesting features the first and the most interesting is a, it's a it's a six by six you can drive everywhere and I mean you know my job site is pretty rough and this thing I haven't had any one issue with it since I've been using it and you know uh, you can carry up to uh, I've measured I've weighted uh, I can put like 12 kilograms of dirt in, inside this uh, dump uh, usually it's more about between 8 to uh, 10 kilograms by himself the trunk weighs uh, 10 kilos okay so six by six he can go everywhere even fully loaded unbelievable I've been using um, Bayer sound module with this one which is a uh, very good by the way uh, with the light system and everything uh, you can see I don't know if you can see but this thing you can move this thing it's like very very articulated it's no there's no it's no, there's no lying it's unbelievable race pretty uh pretty quickly if you ask me and what's really interesting as you will see is the angle you can dump any material with that it's like almost a 80 degrees angle 80 85 maybe And it's very quick. I've installed a little add-on from another guy. Is the gate over there? I'm using uh, 65. Actually, I'm using 66 RPM motors, uh, and I'm very happy with it. It's uh, very torquey, very very much torque. You can uh, use it at very slow speed, which is very important for our models. And by the way, I'm using um, a Hobbywing 1080 ESC, fully programmed for crawler, or even for, especially for my uh, dump truck. Uh, if you're interested, I can show you the, the settings I've been using. So yeah, very powerful. You can drive very slowly. And even with this speed, it can climb. It's not like you don't need speed in order to climb or to go everywhere. You can go off-road, with very 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 slow speed so um, just think that uh, with uh, the 66 rpm motors you might miss some uh, some cruise speed when you're uh, driving on uh, asphalt or like very long um, trip but that's not the way I'm using my uh, my, my ADT on my job site so I don't really care. I've tried one with uh, 111 uh, RPM motors, but it was too fast. Not as as torquey as these ones, and also also 
what's good with the with the slow RPM motors is that you get very much precision with slow speed, and that, that's very important, at least to my eyes. So yeah, this is a gem, man. This is really, really one of the nicest build from Lhasa, at least from the one I built. It's my favorite, though, my favorite so far. Like I said, I'm using this one every day. It has seen so many, so many stuff. Uh, and this is the kind of model you can uh, you can just give it to someone. He will try it. Uh, you don't really, I mean, you don't care that it's going to be damaged or anything because I don't think it's, I mean, to damage the thing, you really have to do like something very wrong because like it has uh, gone into many different ends, including kids and everything. And so far, so good. This is all printed in PETG as well. Uh, a friend of mine printed the, the dumb bed because it's a very uh, big dumb bed. You need a... Uh, you need a uh, print bed of uh, at least a minimum of 30 centimeters, which I don't have. So thank you, Florent, for help helping me out, man. Really appreciate. Um, beside that, everything could be printed on the 22 by 22 centimeter print bed, which is like the the regular print print bed size, I would say. So all PETG. Uh, you get a, the file with everything you need to buy, very uh, detailed. There's some, some uh, extra stuff you can add. You can add a sound module, you can add lights, of course. You can really customize and update every model the way you like. It's one of the beauty of the 3D printed stuff is like it's kind of easy to, uh, to upgrade, to update, to do your own stuff. Very, very, uh, very nice. It's, uh, it's a very new kind of new way for me of uh, looking at RC construction model. As you know, I have like many hydraulic system like uh, uh, with uh, steel, metal, very uh, very sturdy. By the way, this is the real beast. This is the beast. This is the beast of the job site. But this is like this is not the same name, not the same price, of course, and it's totally different. But yeah, that's the beast over there. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you appreciate this video. Please give the thumbs up. And uh, check the links in the description if you want to uh, have more information. Like I said, for every of these models, there is a built video available, available for free on YouTube. Uh, very immersive. It, it's going to help you a lot if you are on the, on the verge of uh, trying to uh, decide if you're going to try one. Just check out uh, Barney 222RC videos. They are very informative, very interesting. And uh, man, happy building, happy printing.